welcome to, to the Best Friends Cooking Pineapple Food Products. Barbara, what's your favorite time of day? Pineapple upside down cake time. OMG, me too. What should we do today? I don't know, friend. Oh my goodness. We can make a pineapple upside down cake. Yay, cake time. Say it with us, friends. Cake time. Yay! Yay! What do you like about pineapple upside down cake? I like the sweet yellow color of the tropical fruit. What do you like about pineapple upside down cake? I like the way the pineapple fills up my tummy with joy and happiness. What do you like about pineapple upside down cake? Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yummy! But how do we make the cake, Barbara? Well... First, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Next, put butter in the pan and melt it in the oven. Melting is a physical process that results in a change of the substance from solid to liquid. Melting occurs when the internal temperature of the substance rises. The molecules in the substance loosen from their more rigid solid state when melted. Sprinkle brown sugar evenly and gently over butter. Brown sugar is really just white sugar with molasses on it. Brown sugar is usually made of 10% molasses. Brown sugar is, of course, a carbohydrate and a covalent bond. Yay! Next, arrange pineapple slices on the brown sugar. Put a cherry in the center of each pineapple. Pineapples and cherries are carbohydrates and they make the cake great! Yummy! That was my line. Sorry. Next, add enough water to the reserved pineapple juice to measure one cup. This will go into the cake mix instead of the water as usually used. Make cake batter directed on box. Substituting pineapple mixture for the water. In the cake mix, there are many different ingredients. The first one is bleach flour. Bleach flour is regular flour that has chemicals added to it. Mm. The chemicals make the bleach flour white. Bleach flour helps the cake rise more and it usually goes into a smoother texture. Flour is a carbohydrate and a covalent bond. Bonus Jonas! <laughs> Sugar is of course in the cake mix. It's what makes it tasty and sweet. Sugar is a carbohydrate and a covalent bond. Corn syrup gives a better flavor and color. It also binds to mix together and holds moisture. Can you please stop eating like that? Thank you. It helps preserve the cake. It is also a carbohydrate and a covalent bond. Baking soda helps make the cake rise. The leaveners in the baking soda expand the bubbles naturally made during the mixing process. During baking, the bubbles expand more and make the cake rise. Fun! Baking soda is a base! Fun! Don't interrupt me! Eggs. They are proteins. They texture and color the cake. They bend all of the ingredients, then hold it together as a solid structure. The eggs help the, cr the cake rise a little bit, but really the baking soda does all the work. Kind of like me, Barb. Let's keep professional, Martha. Oh yeah? Caramelization is the process of taking water out of sugar using heat. Kind of sounds like what the network is going to do to you, Barb. Don't call me Barb. That's only a rumor. Right. Barb. While the sugar is heating, the volatile chemicals are released, giving it its caramel flavor. The steps of caramelization are number one, melting of sugar at high temperature. Number two, boiling of sugar. At this point, the sugar separates into glucose and fructose. Number three, condensation. The sugar loses water. Number four, further dehydration process. Number five, fragmentation, giving it color and polygrishamine, giving it taste. Here's the cake we made. First we poured the batter over the pineapples and cherries, then we baked it for 42 minutes. Look how perfect it is. Did you wash your hands? Stop it. Dirty. Immediately run the knife through the cake. Hey, like that, Martha. I hate you!